Now that Hub's time is up for today, we've opened up the phone lines. We had them blocked out because people get confused whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday. So, I want to talk to Hub. And they realize. <laughs> they don't, it's the same guy again. They, they don't know that it's not Wednesday. Correct yet. me if I'm wrong, but God does not care who wins a football game. I'm fairly certain I know God as well as anyone, and God doesn't but care. But do you know the big God? The football game. He's got a big God, it, and, well, and he's proud of his Lord and Savior. <laughs> hey, Lord and Savior, awesome job. <laughs> I'm Tim Tebow. <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> really. You did, it, you, you, you did good, God. Nice job, Jesus. So what do you think? You're, the, you're, you're nothing if not a uh, sports tactician. What do you think the odds are that, the, uh, that Orton winds up here? I think they're pretty good. Pretty good? Okay. But that's just me talking out my ass, though. I, I'm not... Talking out my ass. Just, just the way... <laughs> that's the 5.30 segment. <laughs> well, that's every Dan segment. Dan Bernstein talks out his ass every day at 5.30. <laughs> no, Come on in. That's every day, 1 to 6 and beyond. That's off the air, on the air. You, you act a part of a damn fool at home, too? Yeah. Oh. Does dancing in one's underpants count? Uh, kinda. Yeah. Okay, then yes. Yeah, kinda, Mr. Sandusky. <laughs> um, I, I... <laughs> it's sick. I'm in, I'm, I'm in my home. I'm touching boys. <laughs> no, I, see, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm completely mute, like, when I'm done. Really? You just, oh, you, yeah. you go to a sensory deprivation tank and yeah, I roll you home? Yeah, I don't. Act the part of a damn fool. No, I'm oh, done. I do. I find it's my. I'm my... worn out. I'm tired. I'm feeling odd. So you and, only and... act a fool when people are paying you to do it. Oh, but that's where we do this for free. So that's right. We right. do it for free because we we love it. Because we're jealous of Tim Tebow because he's young and he has money. <laughs> <laughs> that caller is great. And and his circumcision skill, which I cannot match. You should try though. You don't know. You that. know. I'm thinking about if that numb nuts can do it, I believe I can. Look who's out on a Tuesday today. Mike in Milwaukee on the score. Yeah, man. Yes. Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a call tomorrow, huh? Yes, you got a yeah. call tomorrow. We're not here hey. Friday. We expect your picks. How'd you do, by the way? Okay. Uh, for uh, uh, Pro Boys, I went. Let's see, one, two. I think you need to turn your radio down, too, please. Yep. Three and one. Mm-hmm. Good. That's solid. Well, I didn't do so good on the pros. Oh. I mean, what, what? on the college. I'm conf- okay. You know, come on, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma. Ooh, they all let you. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it was a smash. <laughs> well, at least you were. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can. <laughs> That's okay, though, Mike. It's okay. I had Illinois, though. Yeah. And Tennessee, but. Well, that's not. Again, that's not a bad week. Well, not good. <laughs> no, but it's not awful. Yeah. Well... It's not awful. So yeah, tomorrow, about this time, we got to have your picks because trust me. When we're out and, and you come out with your picks, the place erupts in glee and merriment. Well, I don't get it, but... Yeah, they do. They love you. Really? Mm-hmm. I wish I could get my wife to do that. <laughs> yeah. well, we can. Did you firm up your Thanksgiving plans yet? <laughs> no, I, I, had a, I, I, had a, I couldn't drive last night. I had a caller up to get me. Uh, and, uh, well, that, that wasn't your Thanksgiving plan, was it? <laughs> no, nah, she's kind of mad at me now. Well, where were you? Eh, you know, some nice place. Some a nice place. in Oak Creek. Yeah, a nice bar, good food. So she made me buy her a dinner. Then yeah, for picking her up, and then she and she was still just uh, <laughs> B. So I'd, you, I'd be mad at you too, Mike. If I get some call, I'm too drunk. You gotta come pick me up, and I bet you. I, well, otherwise it was cab. I, I didn't want to wait. You know, I was like you should buy her I, dinner anyway, Mike. It's your wife. Well, I do. I okay. probably more than you guys do. Well, I don't buy your wife dinner ever. <laughs> yeah, I've never bought your wife dinner. No, your own wife. Oh, oh. Well, yeah, right. I, I do that quite frequently. Actually, yeah. we do. do you? Well, hey, what time, by the way, did you call her to say you needed a ride? Uh, 4.30, 5. 
Four, in the yeah. afternoon? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I thought you meant in the middle of the night. Okay, so you oh, by no. 4.30 and 5, you were already out of it? Yeah, I had an early start, you know. <laughs> well, that'll happen. But, uh, <laughs> that'll see, happen. The thing is to know when to drive, when not to drive. Oh, right. That's the important thing. And uh, I never drive if I can't. Now, when I get home, eh. Hello? Yeah, oh. you you do oh. you you don't yeah. Uh, no, when I thought you, yeah, I've been home a few hours, you know, taking care of the animals and uh, the, a- <laughs> the animals. What what kind of animals do you have? Two dogs and a cat. What are their names? Uh, Ash is a cat. Bandit's one of the dogs, and uh, hey, what's your uh, what's your name? Boots. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, did the dog answer? <laughs> did you ask the dog what its name was? Well, Boots is old. Now the wife went. She wants me to put her down. What the dog the or her? Her, <laughs> her or the dog? Huh? You're talking about the dog. She wants you to put the dog yeah, down. Yeah, she wants okay. me to put the dog down. Okay. And I, uh, you know, I, I can't do it. So I got to clean up after the dog now. Yeah, Boots you're talking about. Yeah. You can't put a dog down that can tell you its name. She's <laughs> old, old Shepherd. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I ain't got the heart yet for it. No. All right. right. Well, Mike, you. we look forward to hearing your picks tomorrow. Okay? All right. And I'll tell you what. Yep. They're going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. That's what we expect. Well, uh, tomorrow will be like a Friday. It'll be festive, and we're going to be out. And we should tell you we're going to be on the Who Needs Two Tavern Tour a special <laughs> Wednesday Deja Brew. At fifty two nineteen West ninety fifth and Oak Lawn. So 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 Doctor Streets. I just take the Ryan to ninety fifth and then I go west. Yes, if you want to, yeah. Okay. You can do that, absolutely. All right, so just You the... can you can well, you don't like the Stevenson, I don't blame you. Get off at LaGrange and, and get to ninety fifth there. Or yeah, your way's fine. Yeah, that's a good way. Ninety fifth is, you know, no fun either way. So yeah, that's fine. All right. That's fine. And by the way, I bet you'd, I bet, well, the the dog that died because of White Sox baseball, I bet he couldn't tell you his name. No. Boots! <laughs> I love him. Nice. It's crazy because Brendan has a dog named Boots. That well, is, see, uh, well, he's headed the same in direction. The best of health right now as well. He's headed the same direction. Maybe all dogs named Boots go yeah. to heaven. First of all, don't name a dog Boots. Why? That, well, that, well, obviously it kills them. <laughs> I mean, did, don't not we? Have, or is that too small a sample size, yes, Mister? Again, correlative, not necessarily causal. <laughs> give me so, give me the uh, metrics on that, would you? Just uh, see how many <laughs> dogs named Boots meet an untimely demise. That's Terry Bores. I'm Dan Bernstein. Oh God! Oh, I think God. everybody's Christmas <laughs> drunk already. And you've got Bores and Bernstein. Don't forget, top of the hour, we are out of here. And I believe we have a very special thing planned for you at 6 o'clock this evening. Well, the sheet says that it's Lawrence Holmes with the full boat. And the sheet, you don't mess with the sheet. You don't argue with the sheet. The sheet is right. The sheet is... is, is the sheet is, is the, out it, tonight, it's the right? God. Lauren, it just says Lawrence Holmes, 6 to 10. And then Jerry DiNardo from 10 to midnight. Okay. Well, Lawrence we'll... is going to be with uh, Peanut Tillman tonight, actually, yeah. too. Oh. Miller Lite Top Draft Show is going to be out at Sully's. There is nothing on my sheet that says that. I'm well, sorry. That's why I'm I helping thought. you out here. I appreciate that. So I said, Lawrence is always special, but then you've got an extra special with Peanut with him. Brendan is telling me it's right where we play basketball. We're like North Clybourne area. I don't know where you play basketball. I'm just giving you the information that he's feeding me he's, as we go along. So if, what, if he just repeats things in your... Yes, okay. on Dayton. <laughs> okay, on Dayton. 1501 okay. North Dayton is where you need to go for the Miller Lite Top Drive Show with Lawrence Holmes and Charles Peanut Tillman, Sully's House. Outstanding. 1501 I just gave North you Dayton. all the information. I'm repeating it. Oh, I'm sorry. 1501 <laughs> North Dayton. It's like, see what I mean, Jay? Are you like, filtering it out for the people who talk, didn't understand my jive? I was talking <laughs> to a wall, isn't it? I don't it's understand like, a word you're saying. Cannot a word. <laughs> Can't understand a word. I'm quoting Joe Piscopo as yeah. Frank Sinatra. SNL? Yep. 
We can't even put a is damn there a fine promo for that? together. Is there, I, I believe there's a kangaroo court fine for invoking something Joe Piscopo said. It should be. Yeah. I think I'm going to impose one on myself. That's a weird dude, that guy. Is he alive? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because he became like a roided up freak. Yeah. He's right? A, yeah, there's something there that's not right. That bound tight. <laughs> there. Something there. there. So when you invoke him. his name, there should be severe punishment. Yeah, it should be this, the, like the same punishment that I suggested that should be inflicted on the guys of the Bears game dressed as the Blues Brothers. Yes, that punishment. How do you wake up in the morning and say that that's what you want to do? We're going to go to the Bears game. We're not just going to go to the Bears game. We're going to dress as the Blues Brothers. <laughs> I mean, that's just so stupid yeah, that it's beyond me. I saw that and I thought, oh my god! Like, if, if do they if they have significant others, you know, a, a wife, a girlfriend, parents, at some point you've got to do an intervention. I doubt anybody that admits it and say, don't dress up as the Blues Brothers. Right? I, then nobody would admit that. No. No, I, will, I will never you forget what you said. With that. The Bears, when the Bears made the playoffs, the Jaron team made the playoffs, and there was that guy that was selling deep dish pizza heads. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And he dropped off a bunch at the station. Mm-hmm. And he was trying to make this big thing, like, look, I got these foam deep dish pizza heads, and oh. we could be like the cheese heads, except it's deep dish pizza. Oh. And you picked that thing up, and you said on the air, and it's a word we can't say on the air anymore. Right. Yeah, post uh, Janet Jackson mm-hmm. Nipplegate when they changed all the rules about the words you could say. Yes. And and I'll use the word that you appropriated to sub for this word. You said, and I think the guy was standing there. He was. The, the guy The guy mm-hmm. was so proud of his invention. He was yeah. trying to get everybody in Chicago to wear deep dish pizza heads. You t- looked it over and you said, I got to tell you something, folks. You take one look at this and I and and you see this thing here and if if you want to look like the world's biggest Deutsche Bank, <laughs> by all means put this on your head. <laughs> yes, I did. And the guy guy's jaw just dropped. <laughs> And I guess the rule is, just because you drop something off at a radio station, unless you're actually spending money to advertise, yeah, nothing really, is guaranteed. Don't, yeah, there's nothing guaranteed. I'm sorry. Sign that contract. Because yeah, if, if you don't, we're not bound to I, say I'm anything. I'm sorry. There, you know, I've been after a lifetime of dumb things to put on your head. <laughs> that That's a top fiver. <laughs> that was really? just... Awful. It was so awful. I mean, I don't know what what his next idea was. I I, I don't know if he had one. On the list of things to put on your head, yeah. that was that was way on the bad yeah. side of the ledger. Yeah, yeah. That's there with like a vice. even worse than Steve Nash's decisions. Those aren't his decisions, though. Really, and that just happens to he him. He chooses to suit up. <laughs> he does, but yeah, Steve Nash permanently has has the this lockout. It can't go long enough for him. Like his head has never felt better. See, I wonder if maybe just to get in the feel of the middle of the regular season. He calls season, guys over. He calls guys over to drag their sacks across his head. Just to f- make it feel like he's, no, he's playing spirit of the again. season. Yeah. He, he just, hey, do you know any like really tall black guys that come over and sit on my head? I, I really <laughs> yeah. I really miss that. I think the old sack coming down the chimney is part of the season. And then Frederick Weiss shows up. Yes, me too. I like that as well.